Hey, what's going on YouTube? Today I'm going to show you how to install Kodi fully loaded with the best build around. Free build completely works, just updated on the newest version of Kodi. So to get this build going, the first thing off the bat, we have to be connected to the internet. We are. We have to be signed in our Amazon account. We are. You'll see something like this. This works for any Fire Stick version. Once you're done that, simply the first thing off the bat, we got to go to settings and followed by going to my fire tv once there click on my fire tv and you should have developer options if you don't all you have to do is click on about okay let's click on about we will be presented by the fire tv stick 4k i'll say that here um, we have to click six to eight times okay to enable developer options let's do that one two three four five six seven eight says you no know, need you're already a developer which means i have developer options already enabled okay that's the first thing we got to do straight off the bat once we're finished that let's press the home button and what you're going to do you're going to go in here to the find button i'm going to go lower here and you're going to click into the search box and we're going to search for downloader okay let's do that so we're going to search downloader just like that let's search for downloader once we find that click on the downloader we can also use alexa remote this will be an orange a white icon here okay click on the downloader application from here select download okay this is going to get our downloader application it's going to say downloading it's going to take a few minutes to download it once it's installed we're going to be able to get cody uh application newest version i'll show you how to always get the newest version always have the freshest the newest version okay so now it's going to say download or finish let's not open it yet let's hit the home button for us to get cody and for it to be able to work good and to be able to download it we should use a vpn some isps are blocking cody therefore we need to use a vpn if you have a vpn turn it on but i'm going to get here go back to find and we're going to look for a vpn called ip vanish this is the one i recommend with cody and this one works best in my opinion for cody search for ip vanish once you find it click on it you'll click the little download button uh, green and white logo looks like that click on it and we are going to install ip vanish so we've installed the downloader and now we're going to use ip vanish now once it downloads we're going to open it up and we're going to log into our own account i'm going to log into mine but to get your own account, you can scan the barcode here or go to this website here, the bit.ly link or in the pinned comment description. Go to that link. It's going to present you with a page. Choose your package. It's a few bucks a month. It's a coffee per month. That's how cheap it is. You can use this on unlimited devices. People ask me, is it required? Yes, it is required uh, for some things to work. If you'd like to use it without it, it's kind of risky. I would not recommend it. Also, for your protection, for your anonymity, to be anonymous, I would recommend using IP Vanish. So all the information is here, also in a pinned comment description. You can use this on unlimited devices. It'll keep you protected, keep you safe, and it will give you more links for sports, movies, TV shows, and will also allow you to always install the updated version of Kodi as some internet service providers have been blocking the use of Unlinked, the use of Kodi, and some other applications at certain times, okay? So... IP Vanish is downloaded. We're going to open it up. I'm going to sign into my own account. Here's the email. Here's the password. So you can get your own account. This link here, pin comment description. Once you go to that website, you choose your package, put in your email, sign up, confirm, make sure you confirm the email once you get it from IP Vanish. Confirm your email. Once the email is confirmed, you'll be able to log on. You can pause this video now to get that done, pause it, get IP Vanish set up, and we'll continue to the next step. So pause this video if you need to, and then unpause it and we'll continue. Once you have your username and password, you can continue from this point in the video, okay? So let's do that, barcode, bit.ly link, pin comment description, go to that page, sign up, you can scan the barcode with your phone, whatever you feel comfortable with, you can do it from your desktop, whatever you like, and sign up for an account. I partner with them to give you guys the biggest, the best deal, the best discount for a few bucks a month, okay? Once you log in to your VPN through my links, you'll be presented with something like this. What you want to do, you want to hit the gear icon here with your remote. Say connect on Android startup. Make sure this is in WireGuard, which is by default. Click the uh, back arrow. Go to location, okay? Go to countries. Scroll all the way to the United States. That's going to give us the most links for movies, sports, and all that stuff. Click on the United States. 
and favor the United States. Okay, once you favor the United States, click the back arrow. Let's go back to the main menu and we can press the connect button here. Let's press it. We'll press the connect button and this should come up. We're going to press the OK button and this should go to our favorite location. It's searching for optimal location, but I'm going to disconnect because I don't want optimal location. See what it did? It connected somewhere else. So let's go back into our location. Okay, let's go to favorites United States. Now, since we've added it to the favorites and say connect to United States. Okay, give it a second. That should pop some things up. So we don't want to connect to optimal location. We want to connect to United States. There you go. We are connected to United States. Now, once we're done that, we can now continue installing Cody. Make sure you get your own account, barcode here, pin comment description to get fully protected and to stream Cody anonymously and to be able to update all the apps and things like that and to be able to download Cody. Okay, let's hit the home button and let's get our Cody now. So what we did just to recap, we've installed Cody. Uh, we're going to install Cody. We've installed actually downloader and we've installed IP vanish and you can see hit the three squares plus button. And you'll notice that I have the IP vanish installed running and I have the downloader. Okay. Now let's go back to downloader what we originally loaded in our first part of uh, the video at the beginning. Press the allow button, press the OK button and click up and click into this yellow box here where you type in the URL. This will be very simple. All we got to put in is Cody TV. Okay. Cody dot TV. That's all we have to put in. Okay. Let's put that in. Cody.tv. Once we're done that, press the go button and you'll notice it'll go to the website now. The VPN is on. We'll be able to connect to the website. We'll be able to download it. Okay. See, I can scroll up and down and left to right. So what you want to do, you want to go up to this hamburger button and you want to click on that. That's probably the easiest way. You want to scroll here to download. See here, we're going to scroll to download. Click on that. That's going to take us to the download section. To Cody and then you want to scroll down and select this little green Android button here because uh, we're doing this on a fire stick device now this is 21 Omega we always want to get the recommended version see how it's highlighted the recommended version and we want to click here and we want to make sure this is the one we get for fire sticks and fire TVs arm v 7 a 32 bit okay we're gonna click on arm v 7 a 32 bit and it's going to download our version of Cody, okay? Um, and it's going to put it into files because it's going to give us an error and it's not going to install it. The reason for this is developer options is not on in downloader, which means it does not allow us to install third party application, but that's not a problem. Let it keep downloading. Uh, but just to save time, I'm actually going to cancel this, okay? So we're still on this page, okay? So we're still on this page just to make it easier for you. Hit the home button, okay? And let's do this. Don't worry, you can go back to downloader and it will be where we left off, okay? Go to the settings, okay? And then go to My Fire TV. Now remember, we turned on developer options. Click on that. Install unknown apps and developer options. Click on that and see how downloader is off. We're gonna turn that on. Okay, now press the home button and let's slide back into downloader application three pluses dot uh, plus sign slide back into downloader see we're back where we left off and we're actually not because it goes to the default downloader site which is no problem we'll do this again so i'm gonna go here to home and we're at that beginning step here where we typed in cody tv if you remember that so go back and put in cody tv again so we're gonna repeat this small step but it's good to repeat it but because we don't have to download Cody twice, we're going to only download it once. Okay. Cody.tv press go. It's going to go back to our website and we're going to do the same thing we've done earlier. So we're going to go to the hamburger menu here. This one, the second one here, and we're going to go to download again. I'm going to go here to download. Okay. We're navigating with the D pad of the remote here. I'm going to scroll down on the Android icon. Okay. And it's going to be already in recommended, like I said, and Cody 21 Omega click on arm V seven, a 32 bit, let it download. 
And as soon as it downloads, we're just gonna install Kodi and the other steps will be really quick to get it going. I have my VPN on, I'm protected, I'm safe, just gonna download the Kodi right now and should take two, three minutes and then we'll proceed to the next step, okay? Once Kodi finishes downloading, I'll auto try to installing. This will pop up, it'll ask you to install it. We can press the install button and we've successfully installed Kodi, okay? Now, what are we gonna do? Our VPN is still being turned on. We're gonna open Kodi up now and we're gonna connect to the Digs build wizard and we're gonna install the best build, free Kodi uh, build called Digs Xenon free version which is going to get us a lot of stuff in just Cody movies TV shows live TV pay-per-views all that let's press the open button let's press the continue button when we run it the first time uh, while using the app and allow allow all the things it's going to run it here for the first time prepare everything and I'm going to add the repository to be able to set everything up okay so Cody will start up just like that <clears throat> And then we'll go inside of Kodi now. Okay, you can see we're using 21 Omega. We'll go in here and we'll go into the gear icon in the top with our Fire Stick remote. We'll go to File Manager and we will be setting a few things up, okay? One second, I just went out of it. Let me go back in. Okay, let's see if it works. Okay, so now we're going to add source, okay? We're going to click into this none field and I'm going to put in the following URL. HTTP, okay? Then we're going to hit this up arrow to change to call in. Here's the call in we need, okay? Then we're going to disable that by clicking on it again. And we're going to put in the following URL. Forward forward slash and... digs okay one dot me exactly like you see it on the screen okay digs one dot me http forward slash again and digs repo okay i'm going to put the url here for you so to make it easier let's do that Okay, once you put that URL in here in the field, you want to press the OK button, okay? It's going to fill in it as that, leave it as is, and press the OK button, okay? It's going to add it successfully, just like that. We're going to hit the back button, and we're going to hit the back button again. And we are going to go to add-ons from the main menu, and going to click on that. We're going to ins click that. Drop looks like a Dropbox to me, but it's like a package installer right there on the screen. Click on that. Install from zip file. Settings. In here, turn on unknown sources on and say yes when you turn this unknown sources toggle switch on. Up and show notification, turn it on. Click one back and click into install from zip file again. It's going to present us with this. Click on Digs repo here. It's going to present us with repository or some kind of zip file. Might be renamed, but this name looks like this now, okay? Click on it, and you're going to see some notifications that it's being installed. Things are being set up. You should see a pop-up says Digs repository add-on installed. Click on one up install from repository. Go into this Digs repository that we have now. Click inside of it. This is a little bit complex now. I mean, for some people, they get lost in here. But click on Program Add-ons and click on Chef Omega Wizard and click on it. And then press the Install button, okay? Now press the OK button. Don't touch anything here. Just press the OK button, okay? Now, what you're going to see, you're going to see the download and you're going to see the installation process. Should take a minute. Our builds should pop up and we should be able to install the build that we are looking for in Omega. All the builds will show up and this will be a super, super easy install. Give it a minute, it takes a little bit of time, but eventually things will pop up, okay? Two or three minutes. It's installing things in the background and then it will just pop up. It's just gonna say add-on installed, 
Chef Omega Wizard is now installed for us, okay? Give it a minute, things will update, and this should pop up, okay? Uh, we see the free build is available. We'll click the back arrow on our thing. We'll click Chef Omega Wizard again, okay? Let's click on it, and let's click open. It might auto pop up, but you can click on it again, uh, just from here, and you can open it up if it doesn't auto pop up for you, okay? When we're in Chef Wizard, we can now choose the build. But if something doesn't pop up for you, you get lost, you can just go back to the main Cody menu and I'll show you how to access this pretty straightforward. You can go to Program Add-ons and you'll see that Chef Omega Wizard is always there from the main Program Add-ons. Click off Chef Omega Wizard, go to Build Menu, and from here you want to select Dig Xenon Free Version, okay? Just update it should show up click on the free dig xenon free version click on the continue button and that's going to install version 3.03 the biggest the newest the best build actually not the biggest but a lot of add-ons one of the biggest builds by add-ons what i mean that has a lot of add-ons and it's not very heavy you can see it's only 188 megabytes okay it'll take some time to pull it and download it give it a minute go have a coffee go have a drink whatever you're drinking uh, you know, not recommending anything, but do what you got to do. Come back in about five minutes. This should be downloaded and then extracted and then you should be ready to go. Okay. So, uh, very important. If you have an error here or something goes wrong, restart the download. It will take some time, but when it's finished, it will be ready to go. You don't have to reinstall this again. Okay. Once the download finishes, it will start extracting files. Please be patient. This download process could take some time. The servers are busy. 188 megabytes is quite a bit to download. You shouldn't get any errors. It's going to extract things. And once it extracts, it should force close or it should ask you to force close. When you restart Kodi for the first time, it should look different. You should have all the add-ons and their movies, TV shows. You have all the sections and you can enjoy the full build. Okay, so let it finish extraction, force close, and then when you run it for the first time, make sure that uh, is all good and is all working. Give it five minutes, things will start up and things will get going and then you'll be able to, build, uh, to use the build. As you see, extraction process takes about a minute or two. The download process could be anywhere from 10 to 15 minutes, okay? And if it errors out, you can always try downloading again. Here we are, we're done. It's gonna force close, ask us to force close. We're gonna press okay. Let's do that, and now we're finished. Now, let's wrap up what we have. We have IP Vanish, which we installed and we're running. We have Downloader, so make sure your IP Vanish is running before you start up Kodi. Mine is running right now, but to get your own account, barcode here, this link here, also pin common description, so you're fully protected, fully safe running Kodi. Once you're done that, uh, hit on Kodi for the first time. The build's gonna take a minute or two load, but you can see now, if you installed the build successfully, you'll see something like this, okay? This will come up and the build will start up. Give it five minutes for add-ons to update and all those things and you're ready to go. You can go back to the build at any time. Okay, make sure you run the VPN. Pin common descriptions, the link for the discount for the VPN. Also barcode here and link available here. Uh, make sure you drop a comment below if this worked for you. This should now work. Everything should be working fine and great. Uh, if you have any issues, drop a comment below. And to get all the new updates from me and to get all, all the things, make sure you comment in the comments. Let me know who you are. When I'm updating my store, updating my Kodi or whatever I'm updating, you'll be always updated. If you subscribe to my channel and you drop a comment below, some people have been stealing my content off of YouTube and reusing my store and my content and things like that. So just drop a comment below. Let me know who you are, what city and town you're representing. Uh, just let me know below. I answer all comments. I'll say hi to you and if you have issues also comment below and I'll also link some videos below in the description how to get the unlinked store if you're not satisfied with Cody you'll be able to get exclusive apps for my unlinked store so make sure you comment below to get access to the unlinked store uh, just drop a comment below below this video and let me know if this has worked this is how you install Cody this is how you install the best build fully loaded thank you guys for watching thank you for being here and i'll see you all in the next video take care